the FOMC has historically tried to avoid the kind of rapid monetary policy tightening that's, uh, that has happened so far this year. How concerned are you that the rate hikes uh, that we've seen thus far might increase risks to financial stability, uh, not just domestically, but globally? Um, I mean, there, there are precedents for the FOMC moving very quickly, for example, 1994, 1980, even more so. So we've been known to do that when it's the appropriate thing to do, and this year it clearly is. I, I would say that um, given how quickly we've moved, I'm gratified that while uh, that basically markets have been working, they've been orderly. Uh, there's been some volatility, but that's only to be expected. For a financial stability perspective, um, you know, asset values are down, which, which uh, in, in, some, in some sense lowers vulnerabilities. It's when they're really high that, that you would worry that they're, that they're vulnerable to a fall. Actually, many asset values have come down. Um, I think you've got a well-capitalized banking system. I think you have uh, households are generally in about as strong financial shape as, as they've been in a very long time or perhaps ever. Given, given what the money that's on people's balance sheets. And, and um, so you, you have a pretty, from a financial stability standpoint, you have a, a, a pretty decent picture. Uh, now, the macroeconomic, there are plenty of macroeconomic issues that don't rise to the level of financial stability concerns. By financial stability, you know, we think of that as things that might undermine the working of the financial system, so big, serious things. That's not to say that people at the lower end of the income spectrum aren't, aren't suffering, because they are. They're suffering from high inflation. They're going to the, the, uh, you know, to the grocery store and finding that, that you know, in, in many cases, their paycheck doesn't cover the food they're accustomed to buying. We're seeing actual, you know, real, real declines in, in food consumption. And, you know, it's very concerning. It's um, very unfortunate. And that's why we're, we're really committed to bringing down inflation.